like singing. I like dancing. I like trains. That's right, wide friends. The time has finally come for the trains to run on Food Fight. The subway platform has seen a fair overhaul, and you'll also notice the brand new water nearby. There's plenty of changes topside, including a delightful new fountain, a reworked plaza, and a new flank up a launch pad and into a new mall food court area. I'm very happy with these changes, and I'm confident in the bold new flavors getting served up in Food Fight A3. So, the previous update was a bit impromptu, and then I took a few weeks off to visit with friends and family before the fall really set in. But I have missed you all dearly, and I missed the consistent schedule. So without making you wait longer, let's dive right in to Food Fight A3. Although I have been focusing this update on the trains for the good meme potential, the replacement of the sewer flank probably has a much bigger and more exciting impact on the map overall. The previous flank route was accessible through the sewer junction room and went up underneath the financial building. It was something that was in my original drawing, and I definitely wanted a more separated side flank still. The main road is very open and wide. The path under the apartments and through the financial building had a good mix of mid-sized interior rooms and smaller outdoor spaces. But the sewer wasn't delivering on providing a more detached and narrow flank for spies, ninjineers, or anyone looking to avoid a choke or a big fight. In the note-taking stream that I had done, the steam vent jump pads on VSH Brewery really caught my attention. I hadn't seen them used much outside of modes like Pastime, and while Saxton Hale is definitely on the goofier side, the real New York City is famously steamy and the iconic tubular steam vents felt like too good of an opportunity to pass up on. So, going up and looking into fixing some unsightly out of bounds areas, I approached the inside corner of the map and thought, once you were up, where was there to go? Almost all of my buildings are somewhat food related. The motel where you spawn is next to a restaurant. The apartments have a bodega underneath and street vendor carts in the plaza. But what other food places in a city are there? A grocery store felt too obvious. But then something hit me. That great monolith to capitalist excess. The mecca of goths, jocks, nerds, and mean girls alike. The only place where you can buy sweaty fries, cheap gyro, questionable sushi, and dry stir-fry all within literal spitting distance of each other. The Mall Food Court. Having the opposite side of the street be a mall helped pull together the last gap in theming that had really been nagging at me, and the new route satisfies the need for a flank very well while still keeping the verticality varied. I did still keep access to the sewers available from the center area though, preserving the drop down I had before and reimagining it from an under construction bathroom to a manhole drop to the sewer junction. Now, this new route is important and I am very proud of it, but it's not the only thing that I have changed. The trains are running in the sewers, and the map has water in the appropriate places. The water actually took me a frustratingly long time to implement. I spent two days on and off trying to find out why the water wasn't rendering, just at all. Turns out it was because I had turned the brushes into funk detail without noticing. Sometimes troubleshooting in Hammer is like desperately trying to save someone from a fatal stab wound, only to realize that they were actually dying of cancer the whole time. But enough bemoaning the tools of my trade. If you would like to try out the new version of Food Fight, you can do so right now on my community server. 
Food fight isn't the only thing getting worked on, though. Some of my community have been putting out maps of their own that are up now to try as well. Lucy brings us a new, updated layout to Koth Labrador. A great improvement in my opinion, with a good amount of open space for a map of its size. She as well brings us CP Hay Fever, whose multi-tiered points and late opening flank I am a big fan of. And last but not least, a newer addition to the Wide World roster, Emzile brings a fast and frantic cough map with a fun gimmick. Each time that the point is captured, there are stairs that swap to the disadvantaged side. A very cool trick that I may take notes from. All of these maps are live now on the community server, and if you want to give feedback to each of their respective creators, or if you have an idea you want to workshop, or a map you want to show off, there's a place for that on the Wide World Mapping Discord, and we'd love to have more wide friends. Not only do I have more updates for Food Fight planned, I'll be hosting another event on the server sometime in early October, so subscribe here for more updates about all of the wide news. Food Fight. Food for the soul, fight for the fun of it.